I take this moment to welcome us all to this very special day when we are doing the Legal Awareness Week 2019. So without much ado, I am going to ask the first person who is going to do the first pitch for us, Miss Elizabeth Kamundia from the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights. As the representative of the KNCHR, we are honored to be part of the 2019 Legal Awareness Week. I will commence by commending the Law Society of Kenya for the choice of theme for this year's Legal Awareness Week, eradicating gender-based violence, a focus on mental health. I think the conversation on gender-based violence and mental health is extremely timely in the light of ongoing developments at legal and policy level and in particular the sexual harassment and anti-bullying policy, as well as the ongoing process to amend the Mental Health Act of 1989, championed by our guest speaker today, Senator Sylvia Kasanga. I'm excited about the theme of this year's Legal Awareness Week, eradicating gender-based violence, a focus on the mental health. It's one of those things that people know it's there, but no one seems to talk about it. Gender-based violence, violence is a global pandemic. It's a violation of victims' fundamental human rights, yet the violation comes with a lot of shame, and more often than not, the victims are unable to speak out due to stigma attached to the violence. Unfortunately, the effects of GBV are very devastating, and the inability to speak out leads to various mental complications, and for that reason, I'm very glad that the Law Society has seen it fit to make it the topic this time. I would just want to say on issues of sexual and gender-based violence, uh, as a country we have a plethora of laws, and yet uh, we still have cases of sexual and gender-based violence. Uh, if you look at Article 25 of the Constitution, uh, we um, have incorporated international treaties on um, women and human rights uh, generally, uh, including the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women and the Protocol the African, uh, to the African Charter on Women's Rights that all outflow issues of violence against women and uh, also uh, the, con uh, the general human rights uh, treaties that deal with uh, issues of um, human rights generally. In Kenya, we have the Sexual Offences Act, uh, that also deals with sexual harassment, and I think it was one of the most contentious issues when that law was being passed. I was still in the civil society, but I know because of the very nature of sexual harassment, uh, that was one of the most contentious issues. Uh, we have the Victim Protection Act, we have the Counter Trafficking in Persons Act, we have the Family Protection Act, amongst other laws, but cases of violence are still prevalent. And it is not limited now to just women. It also now includes women harassing men. Is that not correct? So I think when you provide this, it will be a wonderful guideline to tell people that no means no, and the innuendos are not welcome. So the issues of gender-based violence and mental health affect everyone, young, old, rich, poor. So we better start dealing with it. Then we have a better society. Let me also congratulate LSK for what you're doing this week, which is the Legal Awareness Week. A lot of Kenyans, a lot of, as you know, don't understand the issues of legalese, you know. Even I had to learn how to read bills when I got into the Senate. I didn't know. And I can't say that still I know how to, but, you know, when you take an interest in something, then you have to learn. But you guys, you are the first stop. In fact, I didn't realize how how you are so critical, because every time a bill is gazetted, you're the first ones to know. So every time we have miscellaneous amendment bills passed, say, especially by National Assembly that really affect a lot of things to do with Kenyans, my expectation uh, to you, and maybe a challenge back to LSK, Mr. President, is that you are the first ones who should speak out to Kenyans. And, you know, where there's an issue, then you rally us together, then we can, you know, do the needful lobbying that needs to be done. It is indeed uh, an honor uh, for me to stand here and uh, talk about what the Law Society is going to do this week. 
As you've heard from the various speeches, gender-based violence is a scourge and a cancer in today's society. Both sexes suffer from it. And what we as uh, lawyers are going to do countrywide for this long week is to bring out our services to the members, give free legal advice to assist the members of the public, because this is actually one of our core mandates as lawyers. And there's no greater duty and honor than to give back to society, especially to the vulnerable. And we invite all members of the public to go to all the court stations where this exercise is running the entire week. And we'll be there for you. We will render distinguished service. And all of this is for us to give back to the society. Matters gender-based violence can no longer be ignored. It is high time that we have this discussion. And we've also taken note previously, it's been a discussion amongst women. But now, men need to join this discussion because they are also victims of gender-based violence. In line with the theme of uh, the Legal Awareness Week, uh, my committee came up with uh, the sexual harassment and uh, anti-bullying policy 2019, uh, which policy is aimed as uh, providing uh, a framework for all law firms, people who work, work in the law firms and our, all advocating other organizations other than law firms to ensure that uh, there is safe working environment and that uh, there is redress for any actions that lead to sexual harassment and bullying. I would wish now to invite uh, the president to unveil the sexual harassment and anti-bullying policy that has been talked to about by our own uh, Honorable Nidio Diambo and our convener of the Gender Committee, Madam Caroline Kamende. So to do that, I will kindly ask the President, uh, Honorable Mili, Caro, Senator, <laughs> to join us. Then we are going to have uh, our President assisted by our Honorable Mili to unveil and launch the sexual harassment and anti-bullying policy. Could we clap for them as we do this? Thank you. And then proceed to We shall be forwarding to you the policy through your emails. And as it has been indicated by our convener, Caro, kindly let, and our vice president, let's make use of this policy. Let's have uh, the law firms adopt the policy, actually, and prepare uh, policies or customize what we have and have policies that will be able to guide each and every law firm and the policy is not only to be used in law firms, also in institutions, legal departments that uh, have lawyers. We really appreciate this. And um, we hope that going forward, we are not going to be talking about sexual harassment and bullying in the legal profession. Allow me to give a brief vote of thanks. I wish to extend sincere gratitude to God for blessing us this day. It's been a bit uh, hectic for us to plan this week. For the first time in the history of the Law Society of Kenya, we are going to cover more than 45 sessions across the nation. This is happening across the country through our branches, uh, the Coast Branch, Southeast Co Branch, Mount Kenya, uh, Nairobi where we are, West Kenya Branch, Southwest, Rift Valley, North Rift, we appreciate all the branch officials who have uh, taken time to prepare for this uh, week. Similarly, we thank God for our members who will also be able to come out to offer uh, legal, free legal aid to members of public during this week. I appreciate our chief guest, uh, Honorable Senator Sylvia, once more. Thank you, and may God bless you so that you can continue to do uh, the work of the people uh, in uh, Senate uh, that you're doing. Honorable Mili Odiambo, 
we appreciate you. You are one of our members in parliament who has distinguished herself. For us, younger female lawyers, we really, really um, appreciate you, inspire most of us, uh, and we look forward to future being a Mili of Yambo. Thank you for sharing uh, your experience as a young lawyer um, on how you were able to avoid being bullied. Uh, the young lawyers who are here and across the country can also take that encouragement and also make use of the policy that we are going to circulate to all of you to protect yourself. I wish to thank the, the convener of the Gender Committee, Madam Caroline Kamende, together with your committee, for working tirelessly since last year and ensured that we have been able to deliver this policy. Uh, as the president has said, we are actually the leader on this kind of test to come up with this policy across Africa. We thank you all for the work that you've been able to do. I would wish to appreciate our principal judge, Lydia Achode. She was with us in the morning. Thank you, thank you, and judiciary generally for allowing our members to take some time off the courts this week to be able to offer free legal advice to our members uh, of public.